It's probably not a surprise if you don't know that the Lisa Pathfinder mission is set to launch in the next few weeks. In fact, you may not have even ever heard of Lisa Pathfinder. Yet it's one of the European Space Agency's up and coming missions, set to be the final thing to launch in 2015, an estimated cost of around 400 million euros. During its one year mission, it's going to test some of the most advanced and sensitive technologies ever put into space. So what is Lisa Pathfinder? What is it going to do and why has no one heard of it? Well, Lisa Pathfinder is very unique. Unlike most other space missions, the main aim of Lisa Pathfinder isn't to make any incredible scientific discoveries. Instead, what it's going to do is to test out lots of new technologies and cutting edge techniques to be used in future missions. LISA, which stands for the Laser Interferometer Space Antenna, is a mission that's set to be launched by the European Space Agency in around 2035. LISA Pathfinder, the mission set to launch in the next few weeks, is going to test the technology and techniques that are going to be used by LISA when it launches in 20 years time. So LISA Pathfinder is just a pre-mission for LISA. Because of the complexity of the LISA mission when it launches in 2035, the European Space Agency decided it would be a really good idea to do a smaller test mission first. So I guess the real question we should be asking is what is the LISA mission going to be doing? Well, it's going to be trying to prove Einstein's theory of general relativity is correct and to make sure he did his mathematics right. More precisely, it's going to try to detect and to find gravitational waves, which have so far been very elusive to us. Not heard of gravitational waves before either? Well don't worry, it's not much of a surprise. Despite being one of the biggest up and coming fields in physics and astronomy, gravitational waves aren't actually that well known. In 1916, Albert Einstein released his theory of general relativity. and In it he predicted the existence of ripples in space-time, things called gravitational waves, and they're caused by objects with mass accelerating through the universe. Now, this could be a star exploding, a car travelling down the road, or it could just be you waving your hands backwards and forwards like this. But despite Albert Einstein predicting that gravitational waves exist around 100 years ago, we've still never detected any, which is beginning to worry some scientists. The reason we can't see them is their effect on the space around us is incredibly small. In fact, it's like stretching space around us by the fraction of the size of an atom. So, did Albert Einstein get his mathematics wrong? Do gravitational waves exist? Or are our detectors just not good enough so far to be able to detect gravitational waves? So what is ELISA going to do? Well, it's going to try and detect gravitational waves using something called an interferometer. Now, an interferometer is a device that fires lasers off in two different directions. And these lasers then bounce off mirrors some distance away. Scientists then measure the amount of time that it takes for the lasers to bounce off the mirrors and to come back to where they were first fired from. If a gravitational wave passes through the system while it's running, the distance between the mirrors and the lasers will shorten slightly, but only in one of the directions. This means one of the lasers will return quicker than the other one. If scientists see this, they'll know that a gravitational wave has passed through the system. Now, in the Lisa Pathfinder, the distance between the lasers and the mirrors will only be a few centimetres. But in the full LISA mission, this distance between the lasers and the mirrors will be around 5 million kilometres. So LISA Pathfinder will test whether interferometry can be done in space. Because we're concerned with very small changes in space by the gravitational waves, we'll also need to check that we can precisely measure where the mirrors are in space. It also needs to check that all the instruments and technology on board can last long enough to last the full length of the LISA mission. So where is LISA Pathfinder going to be in space? Well, when it launches, it's going to be put into orbit around the Earth, but it's not going to last there for very long. It's going to increase the size of its orbit as it reaches a point in space called the first Lagrangian point. And this is a point in space between the Earth and the Sun, where all the forces of gravity are balanced. This means that any object near this place will remain there without ever falling towards the Earth or towards the Sun. This is really good because it means the satellite doesn't have to use any fuel or any power to remain where it wants to be in space. So LISA Pathfinder is going to launch soon 
and it's not going to reveal any incredible scientific discoveries. But what it will do is pave the way for one of the biggest, most incredible European Space Agency missions in the future. It's going to test some of the most advanced technology and techniques that we've ever used on a space satellite before. So keep an eye out on the European Space Agency website for more details on this incredible mission. Thank you very much for watching my video. Don't forget to check out the rest of my channel for some really good science videos. Follow me on Twitter at UKAstronaut. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys all soon. Up until July 2015, this was the best image we'd ever taken of Pluto. Compared to the images we've taken of all the other planets, it's just really not up to scratch. And just to rub it in, this photo was taken with the Hubble Space Telescope the most famous and one of the most powerful telescopes we ever had. 